53 minutes after the hour, have you seen these? Some of the most incredible pictures coming from the battlefield. Military choppers in Afghanistan creating a stunning halo effect during takeoff and landing. And we wanted to know why why on earth does this actually happen? It's gorgeous. Yeah, it is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Not only did we find out why, we found an incredible story of two soldiers who had that halo effect named in their honor after they were killed in action in Afghanistan. Jill Stevenson's mother of one of the fallen so soldiers actually shared with us what the pictures mean to her on Fox and Friends yesterday. It's beautiful. What, what I see in it, even four years later, is the beauty in a tragedy. How we can, the way that we perceive things and the way that we look at them, to find the, the beauty in the tragedy is what helps us survive. And, and that continues four years later for me. And here to explain how this halo effect happens is Kyle Hill, a science writer and blogger for Scientific American. Good morning to you, Kyle. Good morning. Thanks for having me. The halo effect is known as the Kopp Etchells effect, and it was uh, uh, dubbed that by a correspondent by the name of Mitchell uh, Yon, who uh, named it after Benjamin Kopp, a U.S. Army Ranger, and Joseph Etchells, a British soldier, both killed in Afghanistan. All right, so that they are the namesake for this. But scientifically, what is that caused by? So we see these and they're, they seem very abstract. They seem like a shower of sparks or their own little galaxies. But the science behind it really I, I think it's something that we all have seen before. If you've ever seen behind uh, the like a, a junker car or anything like that, you've seen a muffler dragging sure. along the road. You see a shower of sparks come up. That's because when the muffler drags across the road, little tiny pieces of metal are, are getting kicked up from the ground into the air. And then as they react with the oxygen, they burst into flames. And this is called pyrophoricity. So the metal is pyrophoric, meaning that it spontaneously ignites in air. Now, this doesn't happen with just a normal block of metal. It has to be finely powdered or in, th or in thin sheets or something like that. And not all metals do it. Now back to the helicopters, it turns out that at the edge of helicopter blades, at the tips, there are, there are these abrasion strips which prevents helicopter blades from becoming too damaged and pitted when it's in a harsh environment like a desert. But it also turns out that these metals are pyrophoric, mm -hmm. like the muffler on, on, the, on the bottom of the road. So when a helicopter descends into a desert environment, it inevitably kicks up this, all this dust and all this sand, and mm. sand is actually harder than the metals that make up these wingtips. So these spinning wingtips, spinning at hundreds of miles an hour, impact the sand, and the sand kicks up tiny, finely grained pieces of metal, and those metals spontaneously ignite in the air, and that's this little galaxy, this shower of sparks that you see. Oh, wow. man, you, you have done a very good job explaining exactly how that works. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, Kyle Hill with uh, Scientific yes. American. Thank you very much for joining us this morning from Chicago. Great description. Well, thank you so much for having me. You Who knew had... science could be so beautiful? Excellent, yeah. and it certainly is. Yeah, and unique to that area because of all the dust and the sand that's right there in the air. Mm -hmm. We have more.